Stephen A, should the Warriors be more concerned now? I think they should be a little bit more concerned. I mean, they're the favorites. There's no question about it. But I, again, I think Cleveland got better. Cleveland got better and they got deeper and they still have LeBron um, and they're fresh off of beating LeBron. So the belief is, is that Cleveland's going to try to come back with a vengeance. You've got a guy in Isaiah Thomas that's looking for a new max deal that's going to pay him about $177 million or $130 million, whatever which way works, a five-year or four-year deal, depending on where he stays or where he goes. And so when you look at how highly motivated he is, combined with how supposedly motivated LeBron James always is, a along with the level of depth that Cleveland has at their disposal, whereas Golden State really didn't have to do anything but keep the people that it had in place, you know, the Eagle Dollars, the Steph Currys of the world, Kevin Durant, et cetera, et cetera. It is what it is. Golden State is fully loaded. They're the best team in the world. They're the team to beat to knock off the pedestal. But Cleveland is coming, and Cleveland has gotten better than they were when we last saw them against Golden State. Look, uh, Golden State, the status quo benefited them because they're better than everyone by so much. So once things change and that equilibrium is disturbed, the, the, the Golden State Warriors need to be a little bit concerned, particularly when it's their greatest threat, which didn't seem like much of a threat last year, nevertheless, the Cleveland Cavaliers. And here, when people talk about depth and whatever else, first of all, Jijic gives them some size, a seven-footer with upside, um, and, and that's one of the ways you may be able to exploit Golden State, depending on his development as an NBA player. Um, but also, Jay Crowder here, I think, is key. Because really, when you look at the Golden State Warriors, as much as Steph, and it's, it's about Steph and, and, uh, and, and KD, of course, those are the two best players on the team. Steph, the engine that makes the whole thing go, and KD, the team's best player. And Clay's one of the greatest shooters of all time, all that stuff. The real guy I think you have to match up with or account for is Draymond Green. Draymond allows them to play five out because he can shoot from the outside. He can pass the ball, all those things. Draymond uh, is, is Steph's pick and roll partner. Like, he's the guy you got to somehow account for. And I'm not saying Crowder is the answer to Draymond Green. But he matches up with Draymond better than most match up with Draymond. So already you have someone there you didn't have before that addresses one of the things, one of the advantages that the Warriors have strategically. And then depending on Jigic's development, maybe you have something Max. that could also bother Golden State down low. Ain't nobody care about some damn European player we didn't even see. We haven't seen him yet. We don't Until know what do. he could do. He might be a seven-foot scrub, for crying out loud. You got Isaiah, you got Crowder, and you got yeah. a, a, a potentially number one overall pick. That's the that that that's basically the premise of this. Let's get down to brass yeah, tax and what this was really going on. They're not going to have the number one pick this year, Stephen A. That guy what? doesn't exist this year, right? Yeah, I understand. The, I'm the, saying the they, they have the Brooklyn Nets exist pick. On the floor oh, stop for it, them Max. This year. L listen, stop it. They got the they got the Nets pick, Max. The Brooklyn Nets pick, Max. I mean, what do you expect it to be? Right. What are you, the Brooklyn Nets? Right, but that's down stop. the road. That's I'm just down saying the road that, at this, this moment, next year's number that one draft pick. pick doesn't exist on the I'm court. Just, I'm just telling you that the, the European dude we have never seen before, Max, don't give us him. We don't even That's know what he right. can do. We don't but even I know said, if he can I, carry but, but water. People, just stop. He's, Good, can we, can we get down to what matters? Awards, can we talk about what matters? Awards, that, what, you, you can't even pronounce it. You, you Mr. Eloquent, you can't even pronounce his name, and you bringing him up like we care? Forget him. Let's get down to what this is really about. What this is really about. This is really about the doesn't mean there's this is really about there. LeBron. What are you talking can we get, about? Can, can we get to points that really, really matter? If I because would have brought up Jay Crowder to you two years ago, uh, this is the reaction so, so, you would have so given So I'm me. trying to Same talk reaction, to LeBron, right? and you don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear about LeBron because you want to bring up some European player that none of us have ever seen. None of us. None of us. We're, we you don't even know if he can carry well, water. Let's put it in, let me break it down can this I, way. Can I, can I mention LeBron? Can, the, can the I get to my point about LeBron? Hold on. Hold on. The draft Go ahead, pick Max. doesn't exist Go ahead. yet, so that doesn't ha that doesn't concern the Warriors right now, right? Isaiah Thomas is not better than Kyrie, so that's not what's going to concern the Warriors right now. The difference on the team in terms of getting better are the two additional bodies they're going to have this year, Crowder and Jigic, if he is in the NBA, which is why I couched it in those terms. Crowder just, is the guy I, I focused on. Nobody was arguing with it. We just said we don't care. Better. You still talking about dudes we don't care about. Crowder 
but we know what he could do. We don't know anything about the, the European plan. Was, so Golden can State I get to concerned? LeBron? Can I get to LeBron? First of all, Crowder's presence allows LeBron to defend Durant straight up with no excuses, who just averaged 35 in the finals. That's number one. But number two, and more importantly, Max, this same LeBron James, did you see him after they beat Boston in the Eastern Conference Finals? They asked him the question about going up against the Golden State Warriors. Man, I don't even want to talk about that right now. I really don't even want to address it. I don't want to stress myself with it. I just want to enjoy this moment and think about them in a few days because of the challenge they present. He walked into the finals with a defeatist attitude as if he had no chance, and he prophesied his own demise. I'm saying now that you did all of this for Cleveland and you have those extra bodies and that extra depth, no excuses. None. I don't want to see that. I don't want to hear it. You're the best in the world. You're a superstar. You're a leader. You have the personnel. I don't want to hear Golden right, State right, is all right, up right. here. No, 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 no. Who are you picking I to win the that. final, Stephen A? That's what I'm saying. I'm going to pick Golden to State, finals? too. I'm going to pick Golden but oh, I'm not LeBron. Okay. No excuses. I'm not LeBron. But I'm going to pick not Golden LeBron. State. I am not LeBron. Right, you guys, trying to tell me it's justified. It but, but you Molly, realize it's, that Golden it's State's a lot better see, than the So you want to listen. Okay. You, it's justified to, for LeBron to walk into the finals thinking I, I have no chance? Is that what you're saying? That's justified? Did he play no. like he thought he had no chance? He oh, played okay. like a dude that was going to get hit. Not fun. a dude that was, thought he We're was going to win. We're awake now.